Dustin with Stinger Equipment. And today, I've got Scotty Scarce with Scarce Lawn Care. Scotty, today was your first day using the Go Barrel. How did it perform for you? Honestly, uh, far above my expectations with it. Um, a few quick things. Well, one, we've never been able to push a wheelbarrow full of material up a ramp into a F550, um, which is at least four feet off the ground, and that was immediately impressive. That's usually a four or five person job. Um, and um, hill stability, uh, just spectacular, a single wheel instead of a dual. We've tried dual wheel wheelbarrows on our crews and they end up sitting at our shop. Um, single wheel is the only thing we use. Um, and it, it seems to me the poly of the tub is significantly thicker than the normal wheelbarrows we're used to using, but it's not heavy. Um, the, the wheelbarrow itself is, well, the engine honestly makes it feel light. Um, right, so it's just the ease of use is, um, I mean, I, essentially I could throw it on a crew and just say reverse forward, here we go, have at it. Right, yeah, we trained David in about two seconds. Right. He instantly jumped on it, took off, and, and, and not only was he good at driving the unit, uh, he was productive, which was, which was impressive for right. me. Yeah, and, and this house that we're on right now, um, we're doing a, a demo install with a significant hill on one side of it. So getting soil, mulch, plants out of here, up, up and down the hill is taxing on the guys, you know, um, and, and having something like this that you can just go up and down with, with ease and, and with little effort is, is a game changer for sure. So why the go barrel? Why did you decide to throw a, a four stroke engine on a, on a wheelbarrow? Where, where's the story behind this? Yeah, so the Go Barrel uh, kind of came out of a need of necessity. So as you know, I owned a lawn and landscape company. We did a lot of hardscaping. Uh, about eight, nine years ago, I had this crazy idea. Let's put a weed eater motor on a wheelbarrow and make it motorized. And it turns out to be a lot more to it than just that. We had to wait for a hydrostatic drive to come out. We had spent about 17 iterations of building the frame. Yeah. Uh, and the goal was to be able to take material anywhere a traditional wheelbarrow can go we can take twice as much, twice as fast. Uh, so for me, it wasn't out of laziness, it was out of necessity. Mm. Uh, trying to get the most I could out of my employees, treating them well so that they wanted to come to work. They didn't dread those 60 yard install jobs. Yeah, uphills, oh, yeah. downhills. Even downhills with a unit like that is significant because if you have a loaded wheelbarrow downhill, that can be super dangerous oh absolutely with, where when you have a, a unit like this it will essentially govern or you're down as far as maintenance goes you know obviously you have a new unit there's nothing you need to do what are we looking at two three months down the road six twelve months down the road and then ongoing yeah so that's a great question so the uh the honda four stroke is a uh dry lube system so you're going to get a quart of oil and that's going to do your first three or four oil changes on the unit. Yeah. And besides that, you're going to treat it like a wheelbarrow. So the chain is self-lubricating, self-cleaning, so there's no maintenance there. Uh, you can store them in any orientation, including the upside down. Uh, you really just treat it like any other wheelbarrow you would have. Well, Scott, we appreciate you coming out and uh, or letting us come out, spend some time with you, learn a little bit more about your company. Uh, and get to use our product. We really appreciate your feedback. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Thanks sir. See you.